hi viewers welcome to the channel and to another video in today's video we'll see how to design the simple 3d model entirely on the part sign workbench using tools of part sign and sketch workbench i hope you like this video if you're not subscriber subscribe and if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and let's see how to design the model first open your free card program Let's create a new document. Press parametric part to create a document. As you see, when the part design workbench by default, let's create the first salt. To create the first salt, we'll create a sketch first on the XY plane and then we'll extrude that sketch to create the solid. Let's create a sketch. Press create sketch icon and select the correct plane, XY plane. As you see on the workbench selector, now we're on the sketch workbench and these are the tools of sketch workbench. Here we have the main tools, the sketch geometries, and here we have the sketch constraints. We will use these all tools here to form our first geometry on this sketch. So go to sketch geometries and click on this arrow to expand and then select this option here, centered rectangle, and then go to the region axis and create a rectangle. Now click off and here we have the first geometry. This geometry will use to create the solid. So now it's time to define the dimensions of this rectangle. To do that, we select the dimension tool and we click on this one here to set the width. Now click off. And in this field, set the correct width of this rectangle, which is 154 millimeters per center. And here we have this. Now let's set the height of this rectangle. Just select this line, click off and set 88 millimeters and here we have this this sketch is full constrained as you can see in the solver message just close this sketch press home on your keyboard and let's extrude the sketch selecting the pad tool set one millimeters for this extrusion set one and set reverse it and now press ok as you see here we have the free salt the next thing that we'll do is to create four holes on the salt here to do that, we'll create a sketch on this face here. On that sketch, we'll create four circular geometries that we'll use to create the holes. So select this face here and then click on the create sketch icon. And here on the sketch workbench, as you see, select circular geometry and create this cycle, like so. And create another cycle and another cycle and this cycle, okay? Now skip this tool and select these all cycles and then go to dimension tool, click on this arrow to expand these all comments and select constrain diameter. And the diameter of these cycles must be 14 millimeters. Press enter. Now we have eight degrees of freedom as you see on the solver message. The first thing to do is to select the constraint symmetric, this tool here, and then let's make the cycle symmetric. Select this center point, this center point, and now this vertical axis, and now we have this symbol here, which means that these two cycles is now symmetric to this vertical axis. Let's do the same for these two cycles. Select this center point, this center point, and now this vertical axis. Click on this arrow and select constraint vertical. Now select this point and this point. Now we have three degrees of freedom. Select constraint symmetric and then select these two center points and now this horizontal axis. And now we have two degrees of freedom. The next thing to do is to use the dimension tool to place these cycles. Select dimension tool and now select this center point and this center point and now click off to set the distance, which is 124 millimeters and from this center point to this center point, click off and set 40 millimeters and here we have the sketch full constrained. Now to leave the sketch, press close or you can press this icon or press escape two times to leave the sketch. Select pocket tool and here we have the holes. Click OK to finish the operation and the next thing that we'll do is to create a chamfer, a small chamfer on the edge of these holes. Hold control key, select this top edge here, this edge, this upper edge, and this edge here, and then select chamfer tool, this tool here. As you see, nothing happens here because the size of the, the chamfer is equal to the thickness of this part here. So we have to 
decrease the size here to for example 0 0.9 and as you can see now we have this let's say 0 0.5 here and press enter and now we have this okay the next thing to do is to create a sketch on the XZ plane to form the next shape click on the create sketch icon and select XZ plane now zoom in here switch to the session view pressing this icon here and here we have this as you can see next go to sketch jumps and select slot tool create a slot starting from this side here to this side and now click off and here we have this slot now skip this tool and select this constraint here and now control this constraint here and delete this so now as you can see we can drag this point in this way and also this arc here and next we can increase the size of this line here and on this side also and drag this line to here and next select these two points here and select the constraint constant to constrain these two points now we have six degrees of freedom as you can see zoom in here and select these two points in this way and make it constant okay now i have this now select constraint constant to this tool here and make this point and this axis constant three degrees of freedom now let's select the constraint symmetric to make this to make the center point of this slot symmetric to the vertical axis select this tool and then these two center points and now this vertical axis two degrees of freedom now next select the dimension tool to set the dimensions of this geometry okay first we start from this fillet here click off and set a radius of eight millimeters and next zoom in and click on this line here click off and set a length of seven millimeters and this sketch is now full constrained Skip two times to leave this sketch. Next, let's revolve this sketch. Go to the model tip, select this sketch, and then revolution tool. In the test panel, select X axis. And here we have this. Change to 45 degrees and reverse this. Here should be 90 degrees. Okay, and here we have this, as you can see now press ok and next go to the tree view in this revolution operation expand this operation and select this sketch and now ctrl c to create a copy and click on use original selections and now ctrl v to pass the sketch now select the sketch and spacebar to make it visible and drag this sketch into this body okay spacebar to make it visible and then double click on this sketch and what we'll do on this sketch here is to change the size of this geometry so the first thing that we do is to delete this dimension select this dimension and now control this dimension here and delete now drag this line to here uh, next zoom in here and select external geometry tool and extract this edge okay now that we extracted this edge now we have a reference which we can use to set a dimension for this geometry select dimension tool and then click on this edge here now this line and click off and set one millimeters and here we have this next skip this tool okay and drag this point this arc as you can see as you can see we, we can move this so select these two points here and place a vertical constraint just click here on this arrow and select constraint vertical and now we have this this sketch is now full constrained skip two times and now select groove tool change the axis to x axis and as you can see we have this now press ok to finish the operation okay now that we have this let's create a linear array of these two operations go to the model tip select this revolution and control this groove operation 
and then go to linear pattern operation linear pattern tool and then change the duration to y-axis and this way and and change the length here to 26 millimeters and then press ok select this revolution and control this groove operation again and select linear parent tool change the duration to y-axis and then set here to 26 millimeters and then change the occurrence to 2 and reverse duration check reverse duration and here we have this press ok as you can see this is the final model thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends and if you want to support the content of the channel there's a link in the video description to the channel's qualified page or you can support the channel buying the ebooks that's appearing on the screen now thank you for watching i hope to see you in the next video thank you